Hello and welcome to Personal Finance Lab. We're excited to help you practice the skills you need to take control of your financial future. When you log on to Personal Finance Lab, you will be taken to the student dashboard. The first time you will see a pop-up window, the welcome tour, that will go over the main features of Personal Finance Lab. You can relaunch the welcome tour at any time by clicking Run Tour in the top left corner of the screen. Along the top menu, you can also change the language. We currently support English, French, Spanish, and Chinese. There are many useful links under the About tab for our Terms and Conditions or Privacy Policy. Beside that, you can go to our Career Center where we have a search tool to find jobs or internships in your area, as well as more useful information. On the other side of the top menu, we have the Messaging Center. The administrator of your session may communicate with you by sending you messages or announcements that are sent to your online inbox. Also, if you send in any tickets to our support team, you will receive updates here as well. From the Messaging Center, you can submit a ticket to our help desk. Click the button to create a ticket, add a title, explain your question or issue, and include any applicable screenshots. And of course, there is the logout button in the top right corner. Use the main menu to get around Personal Finance Lab. To get back to the student dashboard, go to the Dashboard tab and click Return to Dashboard. From here, you can access several pages related to your account. From the Edit Profile page, you can change your password or your username. Go to Achievements to see all the badges you've earned. Click any badge you have earned to set it as your current badge, which will be displayed beside your username in the top menu as well as on the ranking pages. Click on Certifications to see how many tasks you need to complete to earn the Financial Literacy Certificate of Completion or the Investing 101 Certificate. Click on each button to view your progress towards each. You can also join new sessions from the Dashboard menu and if the administrator of your session has enabled the forum, you can start or join the conversation from this tab too. The other tabs on the main menu will take you to the four main areas of the platform. The Budget Game tab includes the buttons to play the budget game, access the budget game rankings, and if enabled, you can access your apartment that updates with the purchases you make in the game. Beside these buttons, there are links to take you to the different financial statements that update as you use your debit and credit card. If you need any help with the budget game, these short tutorial videos explain the key aspects of the game. The Stock Game tab is arranged slightly differently. The first column of buttons will take you to the portfolio management pages. The second column will include all the securities that are enabled in your session. Depending on what your administrator enabled, you may see different trading pages here. Similarly, the stock game tutorial videos will update based on what securities are enabled in your session. You can learn more about the portfolio management tools and how to trade by watching these stock game tutorial videos. The fourth tab on the main menu is dedicated to all the investing research tools that are available on Personal Finance Lab. To learn how to use our research and quoting tools, click Using Our Research Tools for a more in-depth summary of how to research publicly traded companies and funds. The final tab on the main menu takes you to the Learning Center. From here, you can access all the assignments that your administrator set up for your session. Click Active Assignments to view all the individual tasks and lessons you need to complete to get credit in the assignment. On this page, you'll see a tracking bar that tracks your progress as you go. Click the View button to open each lesson. As you complete the pop quiz, you'll receive an immediate grade that will be updated on both the student dashboard and the assignment page. If you're allowed to retake the quiz, you'll have the opportunity to improve your grade. As I mentioned before, you can go back to the student dashboard by clicking the Return to Dashboard button from under the Dashboard tab. If you are in more than one session, you can use the Select Session drop-down menu to toggle between them. Don't worry, your progress saves as you go when you move from one session to another. On the student dashboard, you have three very useful widgets that track your progress in completing your assignments, managing your virtual portfolio in the stock game, and providing an overview of your game scores in the budget game. The Assignments widget will display all the individual tasks in each assignment that is included in your session. If there is more than one assignment, use the drop-down menu to toggle between them. Click View to go back to the assignment page we looked at earlier. 
To go to each lesson individually, click the View button. Your completion percentage will automatically update as you finish the tasks up until the deadline set by your administrator. The My Portfolio widget will look like this if you haven't placed any trades yet. A list of popular stocks will appear with a button to buy that will take you to the stock trading page. To view your portfolio, click View, and you will be taken to the Open Positions page. Before placing any trades, the Open Positions page will look like this, with more trading ideas you can choose from. Click the Refresh button to get a new set of stocks. Once you invest in a few companies, this page will update with your current holdings. When you're ready to start playing the budget game, go ahead and click the Play button. Your progress saves as you go, so the game stats displayed on the budget game widget will continue to update until you complete all the virtual months. If you scroll down on the student dashboard, there are other useful widgets available. Any messages from your session admin will appear in the messaging widget. Click the title to read the message in your inbox. Similarly, any announcements to the class will appear in their own widget. The word of the day includes key terms on personal finance, investing, and economics. My Achievements shows you the badges you've earned by playing the budget game and stock game or by completing lessons. Click Badges to see all the badges you've earned. From the widget, My Watch List, you can add or remove ticker symbols you want to track before investing in them. The Recent Transactions widget will display a list of recent transactions in your checking or savings account from the budget game. If your session includes them, you can see what lessons or actions you must complete to earn a certificate in the Certification Progress widget. Finally, the latest news widget pulls a cross-section of business and economic news from reputable financial publications. If you have any questions, click Contact Us to speak to a member of our team. Our help desk is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Outside of those hours, you can create a ticket that will receive updates directly to your messaging center on Personal Finance Lab. Thanks for watching.